Hey YouTube, Tristan Mailer here. Hello there, DC. Welcome back to another real today. We are reacting to Hamburger Helper Like a Boss Cooking with Kenshin. So make sure to subscribe my slice that like button for Corey Kenshin. Like his videos, subscribe to him. And yeah, let's get right into this. You ready? Welcome to Cooking with Kenshin. Hmm. That was too much energy. I, I need to redo it again. Yo, I don't know what that means. Like, are you? Yo, get Bob. Tell him to come out here. Tell Living by myself is hard. Yeah. Being unable to cook makes it even harder. True. My name is Corey Kenshin, and this is my journey to becoming a better cook. Cooking with Kenshin. That's like the time behind his back. So this is going to be a series dedicated to getting me better at cooking. For the first episode, we're going to cook the delicious, the simple, Hamburger, helper, cheeseburger. Now, uh, it can be kind of complicated because, you know, you got to unthaw beef, but let's not get into that. For all subsequent episodes, I'm going to be cooking what you guys tell me to cook in the comment section, but we'll get into that later. Let's get started. You ready to cook, Corey? Yeah! No, you're not. Look at your bummy clothes. Hmm. You need something more appropriate for a chef. There you go. Now you're ready. Show off your chef cap. And your apron t-shirt. Oh, my. I'm poor, okay? This is just the first episode. All right, now that I'm in uniform and this dumb narrator seems to be AFK, um, let's get started. All right, so the hamburger helper says that first step we need to brown, brown beef in tenant skillet. So, shoot. But well, before you can brown something, it kind of has to be unthawed. So, um, I'm going to just put this, uh, I'm going to, uh, going to unthaw this beef in, uh, you know, some uh, pretty warm water. And mm -hmm. while I do that, I can't do, uh, I can't cook with that. dirty dishes. All right, so what's happening now is I turned the burner up because the water wasn't hot enough to, uh, you know, <coughs> defuse that. No, deep, deep, deep. I don't think beef. you're supposed so to I'm do that. So I'm going to turn the heat up on that, <coughs> and then we're going to come over here, do the dishes, and the, the beef is going to chill. All right? All right, let's do it. Now, since we have the water to a boil, we can uh, turn that off, and uh, that's pretty hot. Yeah. So I think it's okay to just drop this in here. I don't and think. And let that. Oh, I don't think you're supposed oh, to do that. I think it's okay. I think it's okay. We're simply gonna just wait until this uh, unthaws a bit. Oh, that means gonna be hard to cut when you it. put it on the skillet. Oh yeah, this is all the tea that you guys have sent. Uh, mostly countess, but uh, yeah, a few other people sent me tea as well. And this is a pop tart. <laughs> so putting the meat in there and kind of cooked it a little bit. Yeah. Uh, it is no longer red. Uh, duly noted for future episodes. <laughs> now we're gonna put it in the pan. All right, so I got the heat on the yeah, pan. Now that, that uh, means gonna, gonna be hard to cut, putting in hot pan, water. Right? So, sort of just like, you know, just like smacking on. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I don't think it was all the way thawed, guys. This is not good. Well, I'm just gonna slap this bad boy on here. Woo! That means gonna be hard to cut. This is good cooking. I kinda wanna break it. It's too frozen to break right now. All right, so. I just learned my lesson about thawing meat. Uh, yeah. It has to thaw. Oh, yeah, just mom. Slowly grinding it down. Can you get it on? Slowly grinding it down. No, that's yes. a vacuum. Okay. It's all oh, broken that's not bad. All right. Well, that was quite the adventure, but I think we're back on track. Uh, I just got to cook the, or I got to finish cooking the rest of the pink because half of it got cooked while I was trying to. Um, get these blocks of ice unfold. So we're gonna cut to a commercial break, but I will see you guys after all of this is good and ready to go. Hmm. Tired of walking around naked, people making fun because one boob is bigger than the other. Buy some <laughs> Corey X Kenshin gear today. T shirts, hoodies, it doesn't other. matter. We got them all. Welcome back. Okay, so I, uh, after that near disaster, Ooh. got the uh, meat all around and tasty <coughs> and juicy. Um, very cooked, very, uh, you know, I, I even surprised myself on this. Oh, look at that steam on it. So let's get that drained. Ba -ba -da -ba. Yeah, I knew buying this thing was going to freaking be useful. In here. So now with the meat drained, I can go ahead and add it back to the pan. Oh, I'm surprising even myself right now. I mean, <clears throat> yeah, I got this under control. So step two says we need to stir in 
salt mix in hot water until dissolved. Then we need to stir in milk and pasta. All right, so let's get the sauce in the hot water. Add a little bit of hot water. Hopefully I'm doing this right. I think you, you know, I maybe think you're gonna season the beef a little bit. What do you guys think? Maybe you know put a little I, salt and pepper on it. You're supposed to put the that? cheese on no, first, just, then uh, put the hot water up. on. Yeah. Ready. Right. added in the uh, sauce yeah. and uh, hot water, stirred it up, you know, dissolved a little bit. Now we need milk and pasta. So, uh, so go ahead. Nice little pasta here. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Very, yeah, very nice. Put this in here like so. Make sure you pour at an angle of uh, 45 degrees or else you'll die. We get hmm. a little bit of milk, uh, 2% of course. Now they don't exactly say how much milk to pour in, so I'm, I'm just gonna pour what I feel is a good amount, you know? Give me some milk in there. That might be a lot. This is looking so tasty. Hopefully this is one of those things where the final step just makes it look great. The aim of the series is to That's get insane. me a better cook. Is to, uh, you know, get me better at cooking because, you know, living on my own, I got to be able to do it. I ain't trying to be America's next best chef or anything, but, you know, I want to know my way around the kitchen. You know, I want to be, I want to be able to, you know, whip something up so I can survive, you know, without having to eat freezer food all the time. All right, all right, looking good. Now the final step is uh, now that we got the milk and the macaroni all mixed in nicely, I need to simmer. Uh, reduce the heat and uh, let it do its thing for a few minutes. Only problem is uh, I need I need a top. So what we're gonna have to do, guys? What we're gonna have to do what? is maybe use a plate. A plate oh, works. Oh, he doesn't have a top. A plate works, but I don't want to mess up my gorgeous plates. All right, since you know I'm poor, I don't have a top to my pan. I'm gonna use this plate. I'm gonna gently cover like so. All right, I guess that works. Nice, and then we're gonna come back. So while that does its thing, we're gonna make our beverage. So your brother's a fancy guy, so you know, expect the best. Kool-Aid! Kool pretty low, actually. All right, so guys, we're gonna go check on the uh, meal, and I'll meet you back here in about five. It sounds good. We're going on a trip And we're back. So uh, let's get a look. Um, turned out pretty nice, pretty nice in my opinion. Uh, it was looking really funky a couple steps ago, but as I had hoped, in the last step, it really came together. So, uh, let's see how I did. Mmm, let's get a nice helping of that. Yeah. All right, so now that we're done cooking, the chef hat can be removed, the apron can be taken off, and, um, yeah. A good look at the meal. Very, very uh, delicious looking. Mm. Uh, say grace, of course. Well, I can't All say right, grace because he didn't make right, me a plate. First meal by myself. See how I did. Okay. So, the flavor is good. Flavor is spot on. The only thing that's missing, or the only problem is... The macaroni shell things, they're too hard. Maybe I didn't let it simmer enough, I'm not sure. Really think if the macaroni was uh, soft, this this would be a perfect meal. So for the final score, I give this seven hamburger helpers out of 10. Would eat again, but just better. That about does it for this cooking with Corey. Hopefully right, you learned something. Hopefully I learned something. Uh, yeah, I learned a few things. So for the next episode of Cooking with Corey, what I need you to do is give me cooking dinner Corey. ideas. Don't Post tell me to freaking go like on like a $30 dollar steak or anything like that. Keep all the ingredients like, you know, semi-cheap. The idea with the most upvotes by the time the next episode comes around, that's what I'm going to be preparing for you guys. This was pretty hard to do, so why don't you go ahead and slice that like button hmm. if you want to see more and if you enjoyed it. Subscribe today to join the Samurai. And until next time, my brothers and sisters, about to, uh, you know, finish this good old grub, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Cause my name is Gary K. Okay, so that's that. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, make sure to high five the like button. Subscribe to this channel. Leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe to Corey Kenshin. Like his cooking videos and gaming videos. And leave comments down below. And sister, share my slice that like button from. And yeah, bye.